Hello folks, you're with Edward and my travels today on Inkster and Bronson Boulevard, uh, the Inkster Bridge Project. We're going to take a little look here at some of the homes that are here in the uh, in the property. Um, as you can see, it's quite a valley through here. Very nice homes, old Kalamazoo homes uh, up in this neighborhood. They're built... Uh, their front yards on the other opposing streets, but this is their backyards, if you will, looking down. Very interesting, right? Come along here, see these homes. We're going to go up the hill. Right here is the bridge project. I talked to the supervisor a minute ago and he gave me another brick right there it is from the project and they're going to be pouring cement right now as you can see we're going to go up the little access hill here and he gave me permission to stand up here you can see them starting to pour the cement and we're going to park up here out of the way and walk right over here a second and take a little look at them pouring the mud I'll be right back. Okay, folks, we're going to take a little walk here, a little route step, as they used to call it, up here on top of the hill. We'll look right down here into the project. You can see them down there now, pouring the cement into the, the bucket, the dispenser bucket. And he's going to bring that around. And deposit it wherever they need it. It's going to be right down here into this forms. Any second now, he'll release that, and you'll see the cement. Flow right out of the bottom. When they're done pouring the cement, it'll fill this steel reinforcing rod cage all the way up to the top and then some. This is just one of the, the decks that they're going to be pouring. Big, large footing here that will support this end of the bridge. I'll be right back. You can see along Bronson Boulevard here they have a lot of supplies stacked up. Material, dirt, Steel I-beams are going to need a lot of that here. We'll get to that when the welders get here. The steel erection people will start putting up the, the beams and so forth. Here's a little different vantage point. See the depth. When they're done, this ought to be better than 20, 25 feet of solid reinforced concrete. Looks to be in the neighborhood of eight to 10 feet thickness. It'll all be filled in and back into this embankment. And the sidewalk will run along there about where that fella is standing next to that bucket of cement there. You can see right here where the sidewalk went along, right down here along the street. And of course on the other side as well when they're done, They've had to take and make their own little roadways and workways for the excavator. They brought in material, filled that all in so he can move around. That'll all be dug out 
and reuse someplace else. That does not go to waste. It's good material, and uh, they use it in other projects, if not backfilling in this one. You can see they have quite a bit of material lined up there and some other heavy equipment parked up the road here, too. I don't have access to this end of the street, but I do right down here. And so that's very good, and the, the guys have been really super about letting me get, you know, within reasonable distance to take photographs and some video. You have to think about safety. Safety first, people always, they said in the military. That's right. Discipline is the mark. Motivation is the key. Esprit de corps, esprit de corps. Bravo 3. Those are the days. Funny how we can still remember that stuff. I'd go into cadences with you right now, but I don't know. It might not be appropriate. There might be women listening. And man, that's not the right language to use in mixed company. Those army cadences. Holy smoke. Especially the yellow bird. I'll be right back. Okay, you can see here if they're going to release some cement here. They got the vibrator started, I believe. Down below, they kind of vibrate. There it goes. It's almost emptied. That operator will swing that bucket right back on over here. Consumers will come right back at it and fill it back up again. And they'll do this all day long until it rains. We're supposed to get some thunderstorms here again later today. They can get a lot of work done. You can see right over here on the other on the other side this hydraulic apparatus here, and you can see the uh, behind it maybe a little bit. There's a generator sitting there, right? That's the, that's the ram set steel pilings in. That's a big steel ram, like a hammer. And they hammer these big steel pilings right into the ground with that. Now we're going to see the cement truck come up in here and... Do his thing right there. I says his thing because I see it's a male driver. They do have female drivers. It's just about the biggest name in the whole county and around here. Uh, consumers and Peterman, two cement company. He'll release that. And there it goes. Of course, this is how they build sky rises, too with big tall cranes hauling the buckets of the cement like this way up high and then they also use pumper trucks where they pump it uh, up tubes lots of pressure they can pump it way higher than they can ever uh, bring uh, cranes unless they actually are using a sky crane this doesn't like an excavator but he's going to load her back up again I don't know how many loads a cement truck like this could carry. Um, this is his third, his third bucket full. Filling her up good and fast too. 
They can't put too much in it because it gets a little heavy. They don't want it sloshing over the sides when they are moving it. You can see it moving in there right now. Dump a little here on the end. Yeah, one fellow was down in there. They had that red hat there on the right. He was running a vibrator down in there, vibrating that cement down. So it settles all down real good and firm. So it sets up nice and hard. There she goes. Of course, contractors and the guys that do, do this kind of work, they call that mud. They're, they're hauling mud and hauling mud all day long. That's what they're doing. Well, get out of these guys' hair here. I'll be right back with you. Yeah, one more little last look here until I take off. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Have a great and safe day.